folks, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I thought I'd just spend a few seconds, uh, again, going through the old adage of knowing your tool. And in this case, it's a good old Nmap. I want to explain um, what I did and what I'm looking for. So, you know, you can do the same and you could do other types of tools. So in this case, I went to my command line and I typed in Nmap, the IP address dash lowercase s, uppercase s. And basically what that does, that's a TCP SYN port scan, which is the default, by the way. I just wanted to make sure. So I put it in there just for purposes of illustration. And it went off and it said, hey, look, I'm doing a scan report for this guy. Host is up. And then it said, not shown 989 closed TCP ports with a reset. And then it showed me what was up and running. And it's a printer. So that was, you know, interesting. But then I thought, hey, I should capture that while it's running see what it looks like so I set up Wireshark and I used a host filter host 10.44 10.86 because I didn't want to see all the other garbage flying around my network and off I went so now I've got a whole bunch of packets I got 2024 packets so I thought hey this is a good chance for me to uh, whip up a quick little video on how I do things and show you some tips and tricks so the first thing is I want to try to validate this uh, number okay I want to reconcile it somehow so 989 I want to see if I could find that number so this is the closed ports and it said reset so if, if I just simply look down this list I just scroll down oh there's a reset right there there's a reset right there they're slightly different and I want to show you different ways of filtering now number one with Wireshark I don't need this bottom pane okay this is the bytes pane so I'm going to view turn off the bytes pane we don't need that right now it gives us a little real estate back on the screen I'm going to open up the TCP control protocol header here just by clicking that. And you can see the reset right there. So I'm going to just simply right click on it, apply as a filter, and select it. And when I do that, I can see what's going on. Now, it's important for you to pay attention to uh, the direction of the traffic as well as what you're trying to accomplish. So I'm trying to find out those 989 ports that were closed. So the first thing I should look at is the source. It should be the printer, that dot .86. And in this case, no, it's me. Ah, so that's not good, right? Now, if I just want to see how many of these I sent, just out of curiosity, just to go through the exercise, I can go to Statistics, Conversations, and then click on TCP. And I can see right here, there's 11. There's 11 ports. I don't even have to look at it, but I know there's 11 ports just by looking at that tab. So I'm going to close that for a moment. And then from there... I'm going to get rid of my current display filter by clicking that X. Now I want to see if I could try something else. So I know reset was a bad choice and I should have paid attention right here at the source address and that would have been a big red flag for me. So let's look at this reset ACK packet. Who sends that? Aha! That's from the printer. So I'm trying to show you that even if I knew nothing about TCP, nothing about resets, nothing about ACKs, just by looking at the behavior and who's sending it, you, you got a pretty good chance of figuring this out. So from there, I want to do a filter on this, reset ACK. So again, from the flags here, I'm going to right click, apply as filter, and select it. Boom. And now I've got a whole bunch of reset ACKs. And they're from the printer. Well, that's kind of cool. So let's go back to statistics. Let's go back to conversations. And if I look at TCP, 989. Look at that. If I bring my command prompt again, 989 nice so they reconcile quite nicely now if I just click on the port B header I'm just gonna click on that and sort it you can actually see one three four six that all the way down so you can actually see all the ports that it tried to scan now for the people looking for port scanning people this is a great pattern to look for if you ever see an IP and you see this incremental port then chances are they're scanning that box well there you go I'm gonna close this and I want to show you one last thing. Uh, the other thing I, I try to get people to do is document their traces better. And I don't mean using a separate text file or Word document, which is fine. But I'm talking about using Wireshark. So what I did was I simply copied this entire output. And I went over here to my trace file. And this little pencil here at the bottom, click. And what I can do under the capture file properties is paste it right here. Paste it right in the bottom screen. So now I've got some documentation of what was typed out and what was returned by Nmap. So now it's in the trace file. So whoever looks at the trace file now, I could just say, hey, take a second, look at that comment. And they'll say, oh, I see what you did. Right, okay. 
And then don't forget to click Save Comments and then Close. And now you'll notice there's a little asterisk up here. It means you've got to resave the trace file because there's more metadata in there. And that's it, folks. So I hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.